Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Create Expectations. I'm here with my co-host, Sheveled Sarah. How how are you today, Sarah? You're looking quite, you're I'm, looking very sheveled today. I'm quite sheveled. How are you? <laughs> yeah, it's good. You don't look disheveled, certainly. So. <laughs> Uh, that was very genuous of you. Yeah, I, you know, I, I'd like to think of it as ingenuous, but... Genuous. That's what all the cool kids are saying. Is that like how you've, are you just mispronouncing genius on purpose, or...? I, I put an extra U in there, because I'm Canadian. <laughs> that, that sounds, that sounds about accurate. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You're just you just work harder than all of us. You're like, yeah, yeah. We just <laughs> add extra l- l- vowels. It's what we do. Everything's fine. Situation yeah. normal. It's good. Like I, I'm surprised you haven't tried to add an extra U to create expectations, just in case. It's been one day. One day we should. <laughs> one day. One day we'll sneak one in. <laughs> <laughs> See if anyone notices. <laughs> so, uh, we didn't do it last week. We didn't do this show last week. And uh, it, it was it was unfortunate. There was just a lot of uh, struggling life things going on on um, both sides. But uh, I'm, I'm excited to talk to you today, uh, especially, though, because we got some interesting news in Galaxy of Heroes. Yeah, we're getting... Well, they announced... They kind of announced. They basically announced two new characters. Yeah, I think they, right. they, they did. Yeah, right. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So we're getting. Um, actually, before we even get into this, I have to say this was really funny because I was going through the viewer comments, like I always do. So I see all the mean ones too. Um, <laughs> but there was one in particular where. We were talking last time we recorded about, like, what potentially could be the December character. Mm -hmm. And somebody had commented, and I'm so sorry, I'm forgetting who it was. But they had commented, and they were like, okay, hear me out, but what if we get all the Vizslas, and we get, like, Paz, and, like, all this stuff. And it was 13 days ago, or whatever, like, timestamp-wise. I'm like, you know somebody at CG. I mean, I've I've been saying I think we're going to get light side Mandos, though. I mean... it fits. I oh, the the fact that they realigned that like they made it so so they made ISC and Gar re- really strong, and like strong enough that you can't really ignore them anymore. And they made them go with Dark Side only. To mm-hmm. me, that was a clear sign that okay, we're we're gonna have we're gonna also have someone light side, some light side Mandos. Because mm-hmm. otherwise, I mean, I think you and I talked about it even of like, look at the remaining Mandalorian light side characters. Like, there's ba- Bando is okay, mm-hmm. but he's not gonna lead the rest of them to glory. Like, he's just not that. He's not. He's he's more a scoundrel than he is Mando. Right. If you were to do like a whole light, like you could do a light side Mando team right now, but it wouldn't right. really jive. Like, You'd have to use the bounty hunter Mando as well, which is <laughs> like he has no synergy other than he could be the lead and give him all like twenty speed or something. Which, I mean, it's better than a kick to the nuts, but otherwise, like it's it's okay. Like it, it's not gonna do that much for you. I feel like that's not saying much. Right. I, yeah. I mean, it, yeah. It's it's not it. It doesn't do anything, and so I've I've, I've been convinced that we're going to get more Mandalorian stuff. I wasn't sure if the unlock character was going to be that, um, but I, I mean this this makes sense. This is very much in alignment and in keeping with what they've been saying. Uh, I just wasn't sure. I think that my biggest question was: Is there a Mandalorian big enough to actually fill the shoes of of you know a legendary? Right. And I, I'm not. Honestly, I'm not totally convinced the Bo-Katan, uh, at any point in time, deserves mm-hmm. a legendary. She's just... Like, how many redos do people get in life, really? Well, she's technically not going to be a legendary. I mean, are we really going to say that General Skywalker isn't legendary, though? Like, it's, it's kind of a weird distinction. It is a very weird distinction, I'm just pointing out. Like I, I agree with what you're saying. Um, 
But technically, she's going to be an epic confrontation. You're technically correct. The best, <laughs> the best kind of the correct. Best kind. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so pa Paz is coming in as a marquee, and then she is the epic. I forgot to look this up. I meant to look this up earlier. Do you know off the top of your head? Because so for epic confrontation, you have gas and you have um, Malik. Mm -hmm. And those are the only two. Yep. Um, how many characters did gas require us to have? Okay, so I think that's five plus a ship of some sort, I think. Maybe maybe not. Maybe maybe it's just oh, sorry. So five for one event. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm replaying it in my mind. So I think there was one ship somewhere. Maybe it's like Anakin. I I don't remember the ship part honestly. Um, I don't remember if there even was a ship part. Th there certainly was. It's blocked out because you're because you're fighting. I, I think it's like General Grievous's like starfighter or something like that. I think. I I know. I remember Padme having a tear. Or needing mm -hmm. needing her somewhere, and I remember yep. Asajj being needed somewhere. Yeah, the separatist droids, but with Asajj mm -hmm. lead, basically. Yeah, yeah, because I remember yep. that was how like a lot of people built up their Grievous team at first. No, well, I original, I just de I've done it just a couple months ago on my Prevail Man account. I unlocked General Skywalker. I was like, oh, I have the requirements for this, and so after a little bit of uh, figuring it out, uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, the Padme squad is very, very formulaic. The the one to to take out General Skywalker, it's 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 more difficult now than it used to be. Really? Because because he stands up after five turns mm. of the, of their turns. So yeah. he's yeah, like he used to hit harder, but that was more manageable because he'd hit he'd hit characters like B one who it didn't matter as much, um, yep. or Droidica who had bit damage immunity. Mm -hmm. and, but you're exchanging that for he's more active. He hits less hard, but he gets stands up way faster. So you have to do your damage to the clones more. And uh, like it's very possible to do with relict characters. But if you want to do like the gear twelve shenanigans that my account that that account of mine was only capable of, like mm -hmm. it's very challenging. I ended up getting relic five on my Magna Guard because that's just, I mean it's a good investment anyways. But I was like. I have to have something to help me here. So, Man. anyways, yeah. So, so epic confrontation, and yeah, the, I think there's like ten requirements for it, each, basically. It's something, yeah. Um, because that begs the question of like for for both. So they they put out Paz's kit today, mm -hmm. um, and then like had a really brief line in there that said that Bo would be a epic confrontation an upcoming ep epic confrontation unlock whatever character um so it's just cure i'm curious like who else would be needed if we're gonna get more characters that are gonna be needed like more marquee characters i just i have so many questions not like bad questions i'm just i'm generally like curious about it like who else is needed and if this is gonna go permanently to the journey guide or it's gonna be a timed thing and all this fun stuff right so both of the epic confrontations we had look a little bit differently like the yeah the, the malik one was just the dark the, the darth revan and the and the jedi revan yeah. requirements so it was the both of the revans mm -hmm. plus five of or sorry four of their unlock characters so mm -hmm. Like Jedi Revan could theoretically have done it without Jedi, ba like without Bastila, right? In which theory. you wouldn't have done, but yes, right. I, I think didn't they give some kind of an award to someone because there's like one person who did that or something? I'm pretty sure that the, there was like an in-game award for that. Was there really? Like I a did title not know that, that they they handed out a title for someone who who I think it was for the general or for Malak unlock because it was it was like. Everyone else used this one character except for, like, one or two people. Man, I did not know that, and I would love to know if that's the case. It was, like, a title that they gave, an in-game title. It was cool. It was like, oh, that's that's cool. I wish I had known that. But then if, if everyone had known that, people would have tried to do it. So. Mm -hmm. Man. Um, 
Yeah, um, so that one was slightly different because it was the two sides. Right, and and in this one, I mean, you you did use both sides. Like the first one is Padme fighting the separatists. Right. And then the separatists fighting the the republic, you know, fighting Anakin and the clones. So it's it shows both sides. So you have to think, I mean, the really obvious answer i mean i don't know that that's what they're gonna do but like the first thing i think that ever, that comes to everyone's mind is maybe they just do five mandos for light side five mandos for dark side or something like that yeah i i was thinking more along the lines of like mandos and like are we gonna need imperial remnants uh i mean maybe like, I, I that wouldn't be too surprising is potentially would Gideon be a requirement <laughs> like new conquest Gideon I I would be shocked that would, would be I would be shocked that would be br I mean we don't know when she's coming is the, the first thing and then conquest Gideon is gonna be unlocked in December be beginning of December so Theoretic, I think it's like December 11th or something like that, that we unlock him. Um, so, theoretically, like, it could be, but that would be, that would be wild. Yeah, I, I don't think it's good. I, I, I mean, maybe it's naive of me. They, they required Malgus and the, uh, what, what's it called? The Fury Interceptor for yeah. Leviathan. So... It's not totally out of the realm of possibility. I just, uh, I, I kind of think they're not going to do it. I think they will require Paz. And then they also have mm -hmm. at, at least one more marquee, maybe two. I, I'm not, I, wasn't, I haven't been keeping track of the data mine, but there's at least one more marquee yes. that's, that's, you know, scheduled, so to speak. Like that we know that is coming, at, you know, in the future. It doesn't have to be next week. It doesn't have to be next month necessarily. But... Mm -hmm. I mean, my guess, my guess is that it's a dark side Mandalorian leader. Oh, that would like not be Maul, or replace Maul theoretically. Yeah, I I don't think Maul is intended for that team really. I I could be wrong, but I mm -hmm. think Maul all, my Maul just got a really cool like. First off, he's the lifter unit for Lord Vader, and we're pulling so, him. Yeah, and they, they explicitly said he's the lifter unit. It's not just like, yeah, it kind of goes well with him. Like, he's explicitly created mm -hmm. to go well with Lord Vader. And, I, I mean, I'm not... I, I I pull him off of Lord Vader all the time. So I'm not, you know, you don't... I'm, I don't subscribe to the church of Lord Vader with Maul. Like, you don't have to do that. But that's what they explicitly said. Uh, so either they give us... M Either they give us a different lifter unit for Lord Vader, and, and just kind of say, "Hey, you can also you can throw Maul into this other team," which mm -hmm. I think it would be weird because then you could also just have Maul and that lifter unit, like you have two lifter Ooh. units for Lord Vader. So uh, my my thought is Maul is going to stay with Lord Vader, or maybe he'll go with the Seer Malakos team. Ooh, yeah, because that that's also a really awesome one, and. He doesn't go perfectly well with the Moff Gideon team. Mm hmm Mando team. So I, I, that's what I think. I think we're going to... I think we're getting dark side leader. That's what my guess is. That does make more sense, especially when you add in the, the Moff Gideon dark side team. Not that I think... Well, I mean, when I was reading Moff Gideon's kit, I was specifically reading that dark side part as if you were putting him under Maul. And I was like, it doesn't make, like, there's nothing here that would make me want to pull Maul to do that. Right. Like, just because he's the only real Mandalore, Dark Side Mando leader right now. Mm -hmm. And it, it does go pretty well with Imperial Super Commando and Gar, for sure. Like, there, there's no question. I just, I also think that team could do the... As long as there's some assists available there, ISC and Gar are going to do well. And they're both Imperial. I wouldn't be too surprised if we had some Imperial Mandalorian mm -hmm. leader to, to just, it's an Empire team. Yep. 
That would be interesting. Mm. Yeah, so... I feel like it was like a lot of news, but also there was just the one post, basically, so... Yeah, I mean, there, there was that. I mean, and then... Okay, so I, I think there's more speculation to be had, <laughs> though. So, what what do you think? Uh, <laughs> what's the next planet in Rise of the Empire going to be? Oh, man. Oh. So, like, a few... Yeah, maybe a few months ago, like a couple months ago, I was thinking that it would make sense to, like... Marin has a special mission. Saw has a special mission. Um, that you would have those special missions open up the same way that Cal's and Sears is leading to Zepho, that they would open up and lead to um, what, whichever planet. Now I honestly don't know because I feel like it's been so long since those missions were added to the game without any mention of a potential planet coming from them that it feels kind of weird if that's the route they want to go um so it's like do you just add a mandalore planet do you add an endor planet i think mandalore is more likely even though it's kind of weird because mandalore if they're gonna do some of the stuff for that like it's it's not in that's in the rise of the empire time frame right really it's after return of the jedi stuff the for the mandalorian so Maybe they don't do it. Or maybe, maybe it's, I, I don't know, like, there's two sides of Mandalorian, so you could actually, you could have a good, it could make it a neutral planet. You could, that's true. Um, but you you could have it be set, like, a, after, so there there's this, the part in the Clone Wars where Ahsoka... Uh, hands, hands the planet off to Bo-Katan, and mm -hmm. she, she's, she's gonna escort... Maul back to Coruscant, and then Order sixty six happens, and all of that. Um, you, you could have it be the you could have it be kind of the story or the set in the time frame of Gar Saxon taking back the planet from Bo Katan initially. Mm, okay. Or something like that. You could make it fit. There's there, there's like three different time periods that Bo Katan has the planet taken away from her. Right. Or that she she regains power and then loses it. It's just uh, this never-ending cycle. You <laughs> so really you could, want to be her leader? Yeah. So you could pick one of those time frames, though, and and work that in somehow. Sure. Or does it make more sense to just go the Endor route and tie that in with, like, the raid coming and everything? Yeah, I don't know what they're doing with Leia. So far... Mm -hmm. I, and I don't, I don't have a good, great grasp of exactly what they did for Jabba, but Jabba has just seemed so in your face. You better get Jabba unlocked. He, he has. I, I, and like from what I've seen so far with Leia, is it doesn't feel quite the same like obnoxious shove down your throat type thing. No, I, I just for fun, I, I did a mission yesterday with Leia, mm -hmm. and she. Got me two of two waves. Cool. Which Thanks, I, Leia. I mean, I would expect that. So, I, I'd get the same with any light side galactic legend or dark side galactic legend in phase one. So it's not true. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's it's like okay, well, at least you can do that. Um, but but like she's no, she doesn't have nodes on every single phase like Jabba does. Right, Jabba has. I mean, she will. She also has her own event, um, which seems to be really not worthwhile, rewards-wise. Like, not even remote, remotely close to the same level as Jabba's. Right. It's it's nice to have it. You can sure. win on you can win on auto. It's it's fine, but it's not like. God, hurry up that you know like you are seriously missing out on a ton of stuff if you don't yeah. get it yeah like it, it's okay cool i have that that's a nice little bonus cool thank you right you're like I, I, it's better than the nothing i was getting before i guess yeah and she'll be good for the endor raid for right. however long it lasts 
Right. Um, but it doesn't feel quite the same. Like, I'm relatively close to being ready to get her. Like, I'm probably within the next month I should be farming tickets, maybe even faster. Um, and I'm kind of like, do I just, like, wait and farm the rest of these shards naturally or should i be rushing super fast for her because it doesn't feel game i mean actually let me correct that statement for me right now it probably would be the most game changing in gac oh yeah yep she has been really tough to beat yeah in threes yep <laughs> but uh other than that i don't feel like the pressure to rush her like I did with Jabba. Yeah, what are you what are you getting from her? I mean, once the raid starts, people will probably start feeling a little more pressure. Yeah, yeah. But but yeah, for right now, what what does she get you? She gets a a mission. You can. It's like oh hey, I I got nine more bronzium. Cool. Thank you. I only need another two hundred and twenty or however many yeah. it is. It, it's not even it's not even a quarter of one. Relic level, and so. you get it. You get it once a month. It's it's really just. I mean, you get the Omicron. That's fine. I'm not gonna turn down a free Omicron mat, but no. I I get it. I get twelve of those in a year. So after two years, I'll have gotten one extra Omicron. Right, but like, and that that's crazy. After two years, you can get, apply one extra Omicron. I I just saw a thing that like CG. I forget where it was, but. I have exactly half of the Omicrons that have been released. But really? I still have to, yeah, on my main account, I still have to apply the other half if I want, if, you know, if I so choose. But yeah, I'm, I'm not far behind. I'm that level of behind that <laughs> I, you know, I've spent enough money uh, on, you know, Omicrons that I'm way far a, farther ahead than a lot of people. Most, mm -hmm. of my most of my opponents are way farther ahead than me even, but... I'm at the stage where I, <laughs> I, I still, you know, there, there's double, there's twice the number of Omicrons out there. That's crazy than I have. to think of. Yeah, Thanks. and it it's fine, I guess, but but like this is it. This doesn't really relieve the Omicron crunch, really. So no, I, I it's, it, this shouldn't be like a I hate Leia bashing session, but she's she's just not as lucrative as Jabba was and mm. I, I guess if they make, gave us Endor that would be fine I, I kind of almost think maybe we'll get Endor but later I think the next one will just be Mandalore honestly mm -hmm. I, I'll, I'll actually I'll go as far as to say I, I, I will be surprised if we don't get Mandalore do you think if we get Mandalore I mean like, like they could <clears throat> tie in having like a specific mission for new bow Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, I think we would have, and I don't, I don't know the geography of territory battles well enough, so I don't know what planet we could use to kind of springboard it. Like right now, what we have is it's a kind of a perfect setup for Zepho because we have Braca, which yeah. is in Jedi Survivor or Jedi, whatever the the for Fallen Order, the first one, mm -hmm. um, first game. We have the mission where uh, you know you can actually. Oh, here, you have, you have the... Uh, let me, I have, let me I just, have the uh, map open. Hey, look at that. I'm just thinking if it's in the mixed zone. If it's in the mixed zone, it needs to come either into the zone right above Reva's head. Here, click on uh, Felucia. Just... All right. So we, we have a closer... Oh, that's what's way too close. I thought maybe there was a, a better zooming. That's it? That's okay. That, Never mind that's what, that's what you get. All right. My um, bad. But if you go to Tatooine, right above, like to the left of Kessel, there's that empty mixed zone. So you could theoretically have... I don't even know. Like, that, Does it even make sense to have a mission from Tatooine leading to Mandalore? I don't think so. Does it make sense to have one from Kessel? Uh, maybe uh, so. Tatooine did have a lot of Mandalorian stuff. That's true, actually. Especially so, with like, like the Mando show itself. Yeah. Um. So maybe 
and then it would be in the mix zone. Otherwise, the only other mix zone that's open is in the phase six slot, and I don't think we want that. So I don't know if you did you read the Paz kit at all? I like skimmed it really, really quickly. I did not read it enough to remem remember much other than that he gets some new thing called heat. Yeah, and like extra heat or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, and I don't know all the implications, but uh, so he has a territory battle Omicron. Yes, that I knew. So. And it, I think it deals with revives and stuff pretty well. And I just remember re when I read it, I don't remember it perfectly now, but when I read it, I was like, oh, this would be so nice if we could just use it on Dathomir. Mm. Be but, but you can't, because he's light side and Dathomir is dark, so it's just not not going to work. And I'm like, what, what other things do your opponents revive a ton on? In territory battles, because that you know, if you're gonna get bang for your buck, you you probably want him to be good and react reactive to that sort of thing. And, right. Uh, like they don't revive on Tatooine. They don't no. revive. They don't revive on uh, in, uh, any of them really. Like that, none of them revive. Like it's just no. just the there's, dark side one. There's the stacks like crazy in. I think it's Coruscant has the stacks. I guess they kind yeah. of, but rock it's not like or... a revive, like they right. have to keep going. Yeah, so I I just I think we're gonna get that. Maybe it'll be a light side one. Maybe it'll be something else. But to me, it seems like we're going to get a Mandalore node. That wouldn't be bad. No, that'd be fine. Uh, you know, he's got the GAC, or he, he's got the territory battle Omicron. That you know. Like Jedi Cal has it has has the territory battle Omicron and right the, it kind of helps a little bit I guess I see people use it I'm like oh AOE armor shred looks really fun oh I was gonna say do you have any of his Omicrons no mm -mm. me neither do you plan on adding any I don't think so I haven't needed them yet I contemplated doing one just to make the Zephyl unlock mission a little bit easier, but mm -hmm. I don't think I will. No, oh, I've I've failed it one time out of five, I think, on my main account. Mm -hmm. That is really close. So, uh, yeah, it's I, I I'm pretty interested in what's going on with with this Mandalorian stuff. I think I'm excited to see what what, what are we gonna require what is it going to do for territory battles and uh, I, d I don't know like i know that some people don't like territory battles that much i mean i i just i personally am the guy who wants to just deploy and be done with it mm -hmm. though i the idea of zepho is is at least really intriguing to me still and uh, you know giving us good special missions to be able to use the cool the characters that i've unlocked is also pretty interesting to me yeah i think that the kind of stuff that makes it interesting. Um, I would also like, I wouldn't mind getting another bonus planet because I would like to be able to compare the rewards to see did they mm. scale them differently? Did they rework them entirely? Did they do it totally different? Like, is it, if it, let's say it's Mandalore, is it three stars instead of doing the, these like reward crates and then a star? Um, I, I would be curious about that kind of thing because I think there's a lot of potential there. Um, having Ma Mandalore, though, would definitely, I think, build more hype, quote-unquote, behind Bo and her release. I will say, Bo-Katan is the only character I've ever wailed on. Like, straight-up wailed on. Really? Yeah. Like, I, I've light whaled. Like, I bought buy them from shipments, but I've mm -hmm. never bought gamble packs. I bought, I bought a couple gamble packs here and there, but never a concerted effort to farm a character from zero or, you know, from 50 shards to, to 330. Except for Bo-Katan. And she was such a disappointment that I didn't need to whale on it. Oh, uh, it was so sad. I think I've done it more than once. Oh. Yeah. 
With that being yeah. said, let's talk about the <laughs> trigger photo here. Yeah. It's something you didn't uh, buy. So uh, this one. Sad. Th there's a bug in the game where and I think CG just said that it doesn't exist, which makes me laugh. But uh, if, yeah. if you're doing a Galactic Legend chase, mm -hmm. then if you are a Galactic Legend, whatever, Farm. you're, you're farming tickets, yeah. Then if there's a Galactic chase that happens to be going on at the same time, then you get double shards. It's, for for that chase. It's obscene, the drop rate. Yeah, so actually I happen to be, and it has to be the same alignment. So I had a dark yeah. side, I had Prevail Man was working on Supreme Leader Kylo, and I didn't get the bonus for, because it's on, it was light side only. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get the bonus for that, uh, for Prevail Man, but the, my other two accounts were also farming Galactic Legends, Leia on my main account and Ray on my middle account, and mm -hmm. both of them easily farmed the, the what's it called? The Marauder. 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 It's going to mess with me because there's... I know. The character Marauder. But, uh, yeah. It, Professor uh, easily. X... Easily. I feel like you finished Marauder on Professor X with, like, three days to spare or something. It may, maybe. I mean, because you're doing extra ticket. You're doing extra mm -hmm. refreshes because it's a Galactic Legend farm. So, right. So, yeah. Like, you're incentivized to do it. And uh, plus, I needed that Cairo really bad on that account anyways. But, like, okay, so just to put this into perspective, Professor X, seven-starred Marauder, I want to say there were at least two or three days left in the Galactic Chase event, and we did all the 50 refreshes and all the 100 refreshes for that account. I did a couple um, 200s while you weren't looking, too. Okay, fine. You did a couple 200s. I did all of the 50s and all of the 100s on my own account. And I went in with a thousand energy um, hoarded, whereas Professor X did not. And like I said, you definitely finished with at least two or three days to spare. I went the whole way through and barely got the six stars. Well, that's tough. All right, let's get to <laughs> your uh, channel, guys. It, go uh, follow uh, Sarah in, uh, there, there should be a link it, below or in the video description. We're going to go to her channel and it's going to be a good time, folks. I'm probably going to mm -hmm. wait a little bit for her rage to just die down a little bit. So and then rage. and then we'll continue <laughs> our our discussion on awesome stuff. Yeah, so go, go to her channel and we'll see the other half of you. We'll see you. We'll see you on the other channel. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. We'll see you over there.